Hello everyone. Greetings to you all in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hope you are all doing well by the grace of Almighty. Today I wanted to speak on one of the topic and that is why God is to be called as God. Why we are calling God as God? That is the question it should come into our mind actually. So by this we have to understand why God is being called as God because God is holy God is omnipotent God that means God is supernatural God is God of grace God is God of understanding by wisdom and understanding God has created heavens and the earth God had created the humans on this earth. God is a God of mercy. God has huge patience which we don't have. God is Almighty God. He is called as El Shaddai. As Lord, He is called as Adonai. He is Jehovah Jireh, God the Provider. He is Jehovah Nissi. Lord my banner God cannot be compared with any one in this world So Father Son and Holy Spirit is one So God is Trinity God He is everlasting Lord God is full of compassion God is consuming fire God is a creator God is healer God is deliverer God is redeemer God is prince of peace God is a righteous God God is king of kings and lord of lords These are the characters of God that is why we are calling him as God Most of the people in this world they think to be as gods so by bible it is clearly mentioned god is a spirit he is holy he is a powerful god no one can face him no one can stand before him god can come directly onto this earth by sin the earth trembles the mountain is shaken and is smoked so god has come in the form of a man god has come in the form of jesus into this world to save sinners for his glory so god is so understandable God's thoughts are very different from our thoughts. If you see in Isaiah 55, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. So, God is very gracious. God is very understanding. We should understand how powerful is God. For this we have to pray each and every day we have to commit ourselves to the lord we have to always pray in the morning and then we should have a family prayer in the evening each and every time we should remember god if we get time during night hours also we have to pray to god and worship him for god's grace we are in this world we should not forget what god has done miracles and wonders in our life we should not forget how we have come into this world we are made of mud the fear of the lord is bringing of knowledge wisdom and understanding by knowledge and understanding god has created the heavens and the earth so 
He has created the universe, heavens and the earth and humans have been created on this earth. All living creatures are living in this world. So, God is so powerful. In the beginning was a word, the word was God and word was with God. God is a omnipotent and supernatural God. God is a powerful and mighty. We have to praise him each and every day with our whole heart. God listens to our prayers. God fulfills the desires of our heart. Each and every day we should commit our family into the hands of the Lord. God will guide us. God is a powerful living God. Whether you believe or don't believe, Jesus Christ is true living God. One day we will witness. Every knee shall bow forever and every one will confess their sins. So, that is why we are calling God as God. God is called as Jehovah, the Heavenly Father, the Mighty Father. He is a Redeemer, He is a Deliverer, He is a Savior, the powerful living God. He exists in this world. We are unable to say Him. Because we have done so many sins, we are not able to see Him directly. But if we commit ourselves to the Lord, we surrender ourselves to the Lord with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we can feel the presence of the Heavenly Father in us. The presence of God is there in us. He will lead us, He will guide us as He has led Moses and each and every prophets. That way, Jesus is yesterday, today and forever. Jesus is who was, who is, who is to come. He is going to guide us in each and every way. So, follow Jesus with your whole heart. Commit yourself to the Lord and He will guide you. Jesus says, Lo, I am in this, I am he is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Heaven and earth will vanish and vapor, but Jesus' precious words will remain forever. So, God is holy. That is why we should worship Him. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you Lord for talking to, you, to your children. Why we should call you as God because you are holy, you are omnipotent, you are a powerful God, you are a supernatural God, you are a redeemer, you are a deliverer, you are our savior. Lord, help us to understand you better so our souls can be saved. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God bless you all.